Hi, welcome to Rising Vibration. This reading is for those of you who want your Virgo back. You are considering yourself, like many of us have in the past or even presently, a fool for love. And you want your Virgo, sun, moon, rising sign back in your life. This is assuming that the split was not acrimonious and that you have not reached the point of no return, meaning that it wasn't a really ugly split. And you still may be in contact with this Virgo, but not necessarily. You haven't reached that point of no return, and you do have a chance to get back together with them. So we are going to look at, at present, right now, until the middle of April 2018, how the Virgo sun, moon, or rising elemental sign is feeling right now. We are also going to look at what they want right now. We are going to look at if they have been able to move on in a new relationship, and if it's serious, what's happening in terms of them wanting to move on with someone else. And we're going to look at the final overall strategies that you can employ to build that bridge back to the Virgo that you are missing, the Virgo who you want back in your life right now. So let's see. This is for Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising. And this is from now until the middle of April 2018, how they are feeling. So all major arcana, we have the Fool, we have Temperance, and we have the Wheel of Fortune. So the Virgo is feeling quite out by their situation the cards would suggest otherwise and i've heard some people complaining about uh, the cards if they don't see pinnacles that it doesn't mean uh, money and as a tarot reader who has been reading for over 25 years i find this uh, extremely annoying if you think you can read the cards better than and if you want to take a literal view, please go buy a book and look at the literal interpretations. I am a psychic, intuitive reader. So the cards speak to me, but I other have other aspects coming to me during these readings. For me, quite often, the cards can either be a distraction or a confirmation of what I already hear or already know. So while we have the Fool, we have Temperance, and we have the Wheel of Fortune, it looks very decisive in terms of the Virgo feeling like uh, they have made the right decision and that they're doing the right thing and that they feel like they're on the right track. But I hear something different. It's more like the Virgo is not feeling completely grounded and like the Virgo um, knows that they have to find a way to get some balance back in their life. They also may be feeling like they left a faded relationship and like the person who they are no longer with, they were meant to be with. If you want to get that Virgo sun, moon, rising sign back in your life, it seems to me that it would not be that difficult because the Virgo is feeling a great level of doubt. They can also feel like they need you back in their life. They could have been very pleased and happy with the relationship with you, even if things were not optimal, and even if things were not fair towards them, even if you were unfair towards them, the Virgo still is missing the relationship they have with this former partner, and this also brings them out of balance because perhaps they could have felt like the person wasn't treating them fairly and perhaps taken them for granted or taken advantage of them. So this is what the Virgo is feeling right now, what they want right now. We have two, so out of the six cards, we have five major arcana. The Virgo knows that what they're going through right now, they are meant to go through. Um, they feel like this is a chance for them. This is their chance. This is perhaps their chance to get it right. Uh, this is their chance to do it differently than they have done it before. Even if they wanted to be with you now, they wouldn't come back to you now because they feel like it would be a signal of them being uh, vulnerable or weak or even unintelligent. They might feel stupid, and this is no judgment. I'm only telling you what I hear, that they will feel stupid, like they would feel like they gave up, like they would feel like they gave in. 
and they do not want to feel this way. They want to find a way to be happy. They want to find a way to feel emotionally and mentally balanced. And they feel like if they come back into a relationship with their former partner, it will bring them uh, in a vicious cycle, but not in a positive uh, way. They'll be right back to where they started from. They feel like they've come so far now. They've come so far and they've made a lot of sacrifices and they've had a lot of inner turmoil to get there. They've had to be tough. They've had to give it their all to get out of that relationship and finally find some little semblance of peace. And they don't want to give that up now. They're too scared to go back. They're too scared to go back right now. So this is what I have for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. We're going to see if they've been able to move on into another relationship. It seems to me like they're not thinking about this now. Um, they're still missing a past person in their heart. In their heart, they're still missing someone from the past. But they're just not ready to make the, the sacrifice in themselves to go back. They know it's not right for them or they feel that it's not right for them to go back. So uh, we have the warrior, we have the black mass, and we have the two faces of Eve. And this feels to me like um, they're doubting themselves, but they're fighting to stay the course. They're fighting to stay the course. They feel like if they go back, it's the complete wrong thing to do. And that they're giving in, they're giving in, they're giving in to a negative way of life. They're giving in to... Maybe someone even that they know isn't good for them. So they're fighting, they're fighting this, they're fighting the desire, they're fighting their own desire and weakness. They don't want to be weak, they don't want to feel weak in going back. They feel weak like they could go back and it scares them as well. You know. So let's see finally what you can do if you would like to get the Virgo back. And we're talking about Virgo sun, moon, and rising your food for love. And you want your Virgo back in your life. I would right now, if there were real issues in the relationship, especially if you know that you were taking your Virgo for granted, you should really try to take the time to figure out how you can make amends. Not just do it right. But make amends for how things were in the past. Make amends to the Virgo for how things were in the past. Also change them, but kind of make up for what happened. Even if that means an apology. That could be as simple as really apologizing with no strings attached. Not expecting the Virgo to forgive or also to apologize. But um, just apologizing because you feel it. You feel that you should and that you want to. And this is just the story I'm telling. This is the story that is coming through. You guys may have been dealing with a Virgo sun, moon, and rising who did this to you, but you still may want them back. But this is what is pervasive in the reading for me right now. So you could turn this around. Perhaps the Virgo was the guilty party in what we speak of, but it doesn't really matter. This is the energy around this now. So if you want to try to find a strategy, we have so many major arcana on the table. It is, let's just say what we have that's not major arcana. We have four cards that are not major arcana out of five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So eight of the cards are major arcana. So this is a, this feels like a very twin flame. And you will not hear me say that often. This feels very strongly like twin flame soulmate dynamic with this split with the Virgo between the person that they were with or vice versa. You both really may have felt like this was the one and it very well could have been a twin flame, but it was definitely a soulmate relationship and dynamic around this. So you also feel compelled to try to get this Virgo back in your life because you feel such a strong connection and bond still with that person even if they're gone you cannot forget them and you do not want to forget them because you felt so close to them you felt very very close to them even maybe you can't explain it and it and this is supposed to be for seriously committed relationships from the past that have recently broken 
but you may not have been together with your Virgo very long, but still felt a very strong connection or bond to that person or vice versa. But it looks like this might have needed to end for reasons that I can't say now with the reading this limited. Um, you may want to keep the Virgo, Sun, Moon, or Rising sign, Elemental sign in your life. But it's like if it was meant to be, then you guys will find your way back to each other. It will all come perhaps full circle. It doesn't mean that you guys will reconcile and you will be in a serious committed partnership again. But it's like you will find your way back to each other again. Just give it some time. Give the Virgo some time to get themselves back in a balance and to feel strong and capable and to also feel like it's their decision to come back to you. Let them come back in their own time. So that's what I have for Virgo. Those of you who are full for love for Virgo and you want to get your Virgo back between now and the middle of April 15, 2018. I hope that you like, shared, and subscribe. If you didn't, you can do it now. You can hit the like button. Uh, I will see you guys back here next month. Thanks a lot for joining me and goodbye.